Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today's video, something a bit different. Uh, it's about Buddy Epson, but it is a uh, article about Buddy Epson from uh, 2015. Yes, 2015, December 4th, 2015. The reason I say December 4th is because of my, my dad's birthday. And he would have been... Uh, 91 this year. Passed away in 2015. Um, today's video is on uh, that um, article. Uh, and it talks about uh, like a uh, tribute to Buddy Epson and, uh, that they had back then. Um, instead of me trying to explain it, let's get into it. Okay. And I'm going to read this word for word. So. Uh, come and listen to a story about a man named Jed. Poor mountain air barely kept his family fed. Dr. Buddy Epson's hillbilly character, which he portrayed on TV from 62 to 71, belied the actor's life in Newport Beach. Epson, who played unsophisticated Jed Clamp, at the widowed patriarch of the family on the baby boomer beloved sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies, was a longtime resident of Balboa Island who left an impression on the area. Waterfront house at 530 South Bay Front uh, sold in the past three months, and the new owners offered it for an event to benefit the Balboa Island Museum and Historical Society. The address served up plenty of pop culture nostalgia Saturday night as the Historical Society re uh, celebrated Epson's former property with a dinner, live music, and photo opportunities involving a cutout of the Hillbilly's rickety truck. Guests arrived dressed in flannel shirts. Women tied their hairs and pigtails. Their hairs. <laughs> tied their hair and pigtails. And men wore suspenders. In keeping with the fish out of water theme of the comedy, which focused on poor backwards, uh, backwoods Ozark family transplanted to Beverly Hills after striking oil on their land. People attending Saturday's gathering shared personal stories about Buddy Ebsen, who was easily recognized on the island since he often wore a bright red shirt which accented his white hair, said Balboa Island Museum and Historical Society President Shirley Pepys. A man from Riverside, whose last name is Clampett, talked about how as a boy, he'd sit in the front yard of Epson's house and eventually got his photo taken with the actor. The man still carried the photograph in his wallet. Others talked about how surprised they were that Buddy Epson would answer the door on Halloween night and deliver candy to the children. Another spoke about as, how as a child, he and the Epson children would jump off the home's uh, second deck and land in the pool. Many people had stories on how nice he was. It was very fun and nice to hear. The late actor, who also found success as Barnaby Jones on the show of uh, the same name, lived in the home, which was built in 1965 and offers expansive views of Pacific Ocean, Newport Harbor, and Balboa Pavilion for more than 20 years. Ebsen, who had been a, a Balboa Bay Club member, died in 2003 at the age of 95. The planning for the event began when the home's due owner became a member of the Historical Society and suggested that organizers take photos of the dwelling before it was rebuilt. By the time uh, Peppies met with uh, the homeowner, she began thinking of hosting an event to honor the late actor and the property. The benefit, which charged $50 per person, raise money for the Islands Museum and Historical Society's mission to preserve the island's heritage and showcase the museum's artifacts in its 1947 home on Marine Avenue. He certainly gained a lot of tourists, she said, noting that the uh, event welcomed about 200 guests. I had no idea would be so excited. The response was phenomenal. Uh, the island home in its day was filled with family and friends, Though the home will be remodeled, Epson's daughters touched on the importance of moving forward and thanking a place for the memories it helped create. A wise man once told his five children, kids learned uh, to enjoy today, enjoy the now, because five, ten, twenty years from now, it won't be here. 
Bonnie Epson Jackson said, according to the news release, that Wooden House stood for more than 50 years and fulfilled its purpose. Now the property is moving forward with a new owner and purpose. It was inevitable that the house had to go, daughter Kiki Epson added. Uh, but our father's memory lives on. Life is now. Found that article, thought that was... Uh, who could describe the man better than the actual people who knew him? Not the actor, but the man. I mean, I just, I really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it like I did. Um, um, especially cool that his daughter's name, Kiki. <laughs> uh, uh, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head over there. And if you enjoy what you're seeing, please subscribe. Thank you. And I appreciate all the feedback I got from you guys about uh, whether you were getting the notifications or not. Some people are saying that their notifications on these channels had been turned off. Don't know why, but uh, if you haven't been getting notifications, check that and see. And if not, if so, turn them back on. Uh, and if not, and you haven't been getting them, try turning them off and back on. Try that. Need to get them notifications. Appreciate you guys being here. Have a great day. God bless you. Uh, have a blessed Sunday. I'll be praying for you.